Yeah, let me just close this thing out, man. Real talk. I got to close this thing out. So, okay. So, let me see what he said. Um, so, we see this dude lying through everything, man. He talk all this stuff about how he's so intellectual, how he's so real and this and that. Twist and flip everything, and this dude is an impulsive liar. I'm also going to break down his atheist thing, too, and really show you how delusional this dude is. He claimed to be so smart. Would you believe this dude actually said, listen, hear me out, that a man, a man like me, cannot fit inside the mouth of a whale. Let me say that one more time in case y'all missed it. A man cannot fit inside the mouth of a whale. A sea whale. But can fit into the mouth of an anaconda. A man can fit in the mouth of an anaconda or an alligator but can't fit in the mouth of a whale. And he talking like he's picking some real stuff. Not joking around. He dead serious when saying this. But claim to be so smart. Yeah, I'm going to break him down in that too. Then I'm going to end it. I'm just going to kill his atheism theory. Because he do talk about that. Listen, don't never challenge me on being a better father than me. You lost that already, fam. You raising your kids to not even like God. You raising your kids to hate God. You sound dumb as hell, dude. Don't, don't you ever in your life say that out of your mouth. You know how stupid you sound, dude? That, I, that actually going to show you how you feel as a father. To know that you don't even care about the spiritual well-being of your own children. While you trying to talk about me taking care of mine. Who the worst? Who the worst? A person who teach and raise their children that there's no such thing as God himself when you know that they got to eventually die and you don't care about their spiritual well-being because you are in rebellion. So you say F me and everything that have to do with me. Opposed to a person who willing to humble himself, actually go before the living God, study and take the time out to find out the facts and truth. And then teach it and install it into your children. But you a better father than me. Why? Because you a soccer dad? Because you a soccer dad? Dude, get up out of here, fam. Stop trying. Look, first of all, you should have never, don't never bring children up into grown man situation, fam. If you got something you want to say about me, fam, then say it to me, man. Keep minds out of your mouth, dude. That's why I don't like suckers like you. You a sucker, dude. You a stone cold real life sucker, fam. And I, I'm just humbling myself. See how I, see how I could just kill you with kindness, fam? I ain't even got to jump out there like that. Because I know one thing that it's different when you face to face with somebody. And I know this for a fact with my whole life on it. The things you say before this camera, you will not say to me face to face. I'm not going to let you for one. And for number two, you better be willing to go the whole distance. Side though, man. Side though, man. I don't even. I just don't like the fact when a person actually really think you on some bully stuff. You really believe that, fam? Do you really, really believe that? Don't you ever for once, man. I don't know what you've been around. I don't know who pumping your head up, fam. That stuff don't work with me. That stuff don't fly with me, fam. At all. You have to show me. Talking don't mean nothing, fam. Talking don't mean nothing. I'm used to the stuff you talk about. I'm used to the stuff you talk about. You don't have no experience in it. I have real experience in it, fam. I'm used to that type of stuff, fam. I have real life experiences in this stuff. You ain't never been to the enemy camp. Guns blazing. You ain't never done that before. Dude, shut up, man. Shut up. You might know somebody who done it, like everybody else do, but have you personally done it? I personally done that stuff, fam. We have even been in shootouts with the police, fam. This stuff is in papers. 
All that stuff you talk about, fam, you talking, dude. You've been to school your whole life. Then you want to sit here, man, and try to talk some gangster stuff to a person who actually come from that life, surrounded by it every day? Come on, man. Like I told you, I ain't on this camera, man, for nothing, fam. 30 of my people sat right here beside me. 30 sat right here beside me can vouch for what I do. Can vouch for what I done. Can vouch for how I live. Ain't not one of them say that's fake. It's a lie. You're not going to hear that, fam. You do your research. You can look up anything you want. I'm solidified for real, fam. If anybody in these streets know me, they going to say, man, that brother was taking care of business or what they call business to be. I don't live that life no more. I'm still ain't no pushover, though. I tell you that. I'm still ain't no pushover, though. And don't you for one think that you're going to be the one that do it, fam. You not. You not. You talk like you kick some real stuff. You speak like you really genuine on what you say. But they're going to show your ignorance when you're talking to a person that actually do what you're saying. You know you ain't never did that before. A person who never did it before, man, why would you act like you actually do that? Why would you talk like that? Call me an F-boy. You really think I'm a pushover like that? You really think I'm a pushover like that because you can sit in front of this internet and talk? You call me a B-A nigga. You really believe that? I done made cats put guns down that was in front of my face. Literally. Literally. And I done literally made people pull guns down that was in front of other people's faces. Dude. I hate when nerds get to talking. Who don't know nothing who ain't seen nothing. And then you get so comfortable, you believe and feel that the life you always probably want to be involved in, that you could just easily jump in and it don't have consequences. Jealousy is dangerous to the stuff that it does. You see this all over the internet. People all over the internet challenging each other, clout chasing, brothers losing their life behind this trash, and you ain't no different. You ain't no different, man. Sit up there, do all that talk, sit up there doing all that disrespect, and though it ain't gonna one day catch up with you. Then you manipulate everything. Nigga, I don't know you. How do we even get here? I don't know you. I never even spoke your name. I didn't even watch you. But you definitely was watching me. You definitely believe somehow you know me. You really think you that tough, fam, that you actually literally can just sit here, talk crazy, man, and think that you would really say that in my presence? Right. I know this the internet. It's supposed to make you feel that way. It's supposed to make you feel that way. Okay. So, he said, I don't take care of my kids. We already know that that's a lie. That's crazy, though. Why would you even say some stuff like that? Then he said, don't compare my view to yours because the difference is I don't give a F. <laughs> this is leisurely. Uh, this is leisurely after I come from a life of living a lovely life. I only do this when I come from a life of living a, 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 a lovely life. Shut up. Stop lying, dog. 
You've been doing this since 2013, fam. You all on blog with Daylight, DNA. You supposed to have been 40 bars manager. Stop trying to underplay this. You've been wanting to do this. You always wanted to be accepted. You always wanted to be. You sitting there whining and complaining that you didn't get the J Black seat. Who cares about that? They're going to show you you a square and you a lame. You actually wanted a champion seat to sit there and judge on who be champion. Who the hell would care about that? You think I would care about that? Hey, battle true. You want to sit here and judge with me? That's blogging. He said, I need this. Using my, try to reverse my words that I done said about other people on me. When everybody know my story. I wasn't a blogger, didn't know nothing about it, wasn't even trying to be a blogger. You actually literally tried to be a blogger. You actually want to be a blogger. You actually want to do this stuff, got podcasts. I didn't. The people called me to be this. This a fact. This a fact. The people called me to do this. When I was trying out that phone and I addressed that certain situation, the people was asking me to come back to continue to do that because they wanted this. You wanted to be a blogger. I never wanted to be a blogger. I didn't care. But I also saw that God was opening the way and building a platform for me. That it could be a way that I also could minister and witness the gospel to get the word of God out there and break down liars like you who mis who misinterpret uh, it and lie and try to teach and educate people to hate God. So that's why he said, said that the don't compare my view to yours. Right, because he don't get none. But you want to do all this talking like you don't care, but you go live all the time. Then try to say, no, I'm living a good life. This just the past time. But I'm going to buy a seat for it. I'm going to get a podcast for it. I'm going to get pretty money and Teflon. Uh, Tally Teflon them up here with me I'm going to go live for all these hours But guess what y'all I really don't care about this This stuff really mean nothing to me I'm just killing time No go be with your family Go be with your family Give that time that don't mean nothing to your family Go lay up under your wife Go hug your children Don't sit here feed us this lies You don't care about this stuff And you just passing time Even though you investing money in it Even though you sitting up here uh, Using all these wasted hours Hours, you could be giving to your kids Focusing on me Because you got a good life That's better than mine But always talking about mine Right He said nobody is subscribed to my channel To hear of any of my series That I have None of my episodes of the series I have The series What, I, what I'm talking about is um, Like Master Smacks and ARPs and uh, preliminaries, lessons in love, power hours, uh, um, pages, chapters of my life. Nobody subscribed to me. Nobody wants to hear these things and they don't care about it. Then he said on his channel, if I'm lying, y'all, if I'm telling the truth, y'all, press one. And people, like nine of the people, nine people that was on there started pressing one, saying he was telling the truth. We know that that's a lie. You know how many people inbox me and tell me all the time, man, when are you bringing back Power Hour? When are you bringing Lessons in Love back? When are you bringing back Page and Chapters of My Life? I missed that. When are you bringing back Master Smack? When are you going to recap your battles and do the preliminaries? I missed those. When Night Court coming back? I got some cases I want to put on people. Come on, man. Then he told me to go live and take some of his views and fans daring me. Go live right now and let's see if you could take some of my people. That's the dude's problem. They believe they own the people. They want the people to pledge an allegiance to them. They want people to just rock with them and them only. Dude, you sound dumb. He said... He said, <laughs> this dude, forget, you on record, man. You on record, fam. Honoring me. You on record saying how good I am. You on record saying this. I never said you was good. 
I never said I liked your show. You won't never hear me say that. Because you trash, fam. Period. Period. You tried your best to think that you were going to sabotage and make people hate me. Oh, y'all, he raped a girl. Oh, y'all, he stuck his grown penis in a little bitty child. Oh, y'all, he beat up on women. Hey, y'all, he said that if his son was a homosexual, he turned his back on his son. He tried his best to paint those hateful pictures of me to try to make people hate me and not like me. It never worked. It never worked. Channel got took down and I passed you up again. What do that mean? What did that say about you? Yours ain't been gone yet. You sit there talk all this intellect. Dude had the nerve to tell from a fan point of view. I was trying to show you how to maximize your stuff. How to make your channel better. How to do better than you. How you gonna say that to a guy who doing better than you? He doing better than you. I, who are you to give advice to somebody uh, how to make their channel better, and it's better than yours already. Dude, you got so much advice to give to people. Use your own advice. I got some advice to you. Do you know what to do to get rid of that face of yours? Chop your head off. <laughs> I just want to kick it. Chop your head off. <laughs> we want to play kickball with it. I think it'll look better. <laughs> Dude tried to call me ugly. Really? You know what? I take that. I don't mind being ugly. Because guess what? Guess what's crazy about me being ugly? You actually uglier than me. So if I'm ugly, then what are you? Umasha Guka? Umasha Guka? <laughs> Umasha Glee. He Umasha Glee. <laughs> if I'm ugly, you Umasha Glee. <laughs> The U and the L Y got to be in there. Umashla Glee. <laughs> no, I'm good at making up words. Yeah, man. <laughs> Dude says, show him a picture of my bedroom that's better than his dog room. And if I can't do that, say nothing to him. He called me a little nigga. You can never call me a little nigga, fam. You can't call me a little nigga because I did way more than you ever done. I've been places you never, never could survive in. You understand what I'm saying? You can never call me a little dude when I'm more respected than you ever could be, fam. In my city, I'm respected for real. In my circle, I'm respected for real. In the prison systems, I'm respected for real. How could I ever be a little nigga to a guy who been in school his whole entire life and now you get to the age of 38 and think you want to try to be a gangster? Nigga, please, man. Get a life, dog. Get a life. You ain't got nobody that can vouch for you. Nobody. Everybody vouch for me, fam. And it's no uh, rehearsal. It's nothing premeditated. Because you know why? They saw it. They saw it. You see how, like, you get shamed? You were sitting there talking, and then the door knock on. And like I said, I've been on the camera with 30 of my people. Over 30 of them. That know me personally. Not one of them went against me. Not one of them. So... You know so much, but you're not from here. You know so much. You that tough. You that gangster. You that raw. Say it to my face. Now, if you're not going to say it to my face, then let's shut all this talk up, fam. Let's shut all this talk up. Can we do that? Can we not going to do the back and forth on the internet thing? Now, you can say what you want after this. But the fact still remain, you ain't saying it to my face. All that tough talk you're doing, you ain't going to do it to my face. So all that screaming, hollering, huffing and puffing, you going to do any camera, try to build yourself up like you some straight up G, guess what? Nigga, you don't even got a resume. What work you put in? You ain't got no resume. You don't have a strike. You ain't never been into it with law authorities. 
You ain't had no run in with them people, fam. And it ain't come from you being just so damn good at what you do. And like I said, if anybody been in these fields long enough, that's something you can't avoid. Now, that's nothing to glorify, and I don't care. I'm just showing you, fam, my track record speaks for itself. You can say anything you want, but at the end of the day, you ain't saying it to me personally, which means you a coward. Don't talk no gangster stuff. Don't talk no disrespectful calling me all type of names over the internet. You ain't saying it to my face. And if you're going to take the initiative to disrespect me over the internet, then you should take the initiative to say it in person. Or you a coward. Or you a coward. What did you say? Now, you can say what you want, bro. The facts is out already. Now, Stop hating so much. You a hater, dog. You a hater. You hate anything, you know what I'm saying, that's about me because you wish you was me, dude. And I'm just taking the light on you because I don't even really care. So guess what? You can have your internet. I 3 old battle troop. I body battle troop. I ethered him. You talk like a lame. You talk like a sucker. You internet talk. You twitted fingers. Do it personally, in real life. Then go brag about it. Do it personally, in real life, tough guy. Let's see how far you get. Other than that, shut up. Shut up. And keep getting jealous. Keep hating. You don't know about this music better than me. Your album coming out, it ain't going to have nothing on mine at all. Talking about he in album mode. You push me when I'm in album mode? You a cartoon character, dog. You a straight up cartoon character, man. Dragon Ball Z feature. I don't care about you being in album mode. I don't give a damn what you do. My stuff already finished. I ain't got to re regroup or recreate, rewrite anything. Mine done already. And it's still better than yours. Period. You do nothing better than me. Nothing at all. Have a nice day, dude. And continue to talk about me like you always have. And at the end of the day, you still got to sleep with the fact of knowing you're not better than me. You're not better than me. So so by you talking, try to boost yourself up to make yourself seem like you're true. Guess what? You lost again.